one million square meters, palaces after palaces, royal gardens, government buildings, a labyrinth of streets, and even the moat. Welcome to the Forbidden City, rebuilt full size. And this is only part of Hengdian World Studios in East China's Zhejiang Province. The complex also boasts a replica of downtown Hong Kong in the late 19th century. The palace of China's first emperor that dates back over 2300 years. The city of Guangzhou around the middle of the 19th century. and the capital of the Song Dynasty about 1,000 years ago, with the river meandering through. No wonder senior manager Zeng Yulin is proud. Heng Dian is the largest movie studio in the world. It's even been dubbed China Wood. The manager says a director can film movies of any period in Chinese history here in Hengdian. In last year alone, over 140 movies and TV series were shot in this studio. And it's not only about movies. Hengdian is also a popular tourist attraction, drawing some 12 million people in 2013 who spent over $190 million in total. It has already become the pillar of the local economy, employing people and boosting movie-related sectors. But Heng Dian is facing stiff competition. In Shanghai, about three hours' drive from Heng Dian, a massive movie entertainment complex is taking shape. With an investment of $2.4 billion, the so-called Dream Center plans to build Asia's top animation studio and the world's largest IMAX theater. It seems the same passion is taking over the whole of China. Hundreds of movie production complexes have been constructed across the country in recent years. There is even a movie production complex in the remote village of Jiuxiang in southwest China, which has a population of just 18,000. It's all like a gold rush and the coveted prizes, the lucrative Chinese movie market. With breathtaking growth for the past three decades and an increasing appetite for the new, people in China are willing to pay for movies. This young woman says she goes to cinemas once every two weeks to watch foreign movies, especially 3D and sci-fi blockbusters, as Chinese films are available on TV at home. This man says people of his age prefer Chinese movies because they tell more about China. And this young man goes to cinemas quite often. He says he likes foreign movies because they generally have better special effects and more interesting plots. China is the world's second largest film market, only up to the United States. Homemade and foreign movies are vying to get a chunk of that. Last year, box office receipts were around $3.6 billion. Chinese movies raked in $2 billion, accounting for 58% of the total. It's being hailed by many as a huge leap forward for the domestic movie industry. However, foreign movies remain formidable. All over 200 China-made movies made into theaters last year, only 34 Hollywood movies are allowed into the country, but they got 42% of the total revenues. So can all those money racing into the movie business pay off? Is China's own movie industry capable of getting the upper hand? In fact, many movie production complexes are so-called image projects. Some are the results of wrong policy decisions. Of course, there are some that have achieved a lot, but the vast majority are not living up to expectations. Some have even been abandoned. 
There isn't enough demand to allow every single province or city in China to build a movie production complex. As for domestically made movies, I think they have great potential, which, however, is not fully realized. They still lag far behind in areas like techniques and aesthetics. In addition, I think the Chinese movie industry must learn from Hollywood in terms of marketing, investment and risk control. The film industry is more than just movies and theaters. It fits into the Chinese government's plan to transform the country's growth model. When parliament convened earlier this year, Chinese Premier Li Keqiang told MPs there will be more support for the cultural and creative industries and more efforts to develop the market for cultural products. So is the movie sector a key part of the creative industries up to the task? I think the movie industry can become a source of growth here in China. Although box office revenues are over 3 billion U.S. dollars, accounting for only a tiny part of the country's economy, the movie industry still deserves attention and support. Because movies by themselves are only one link of a huge industry chain. History and examples like Hollywood and Bollywood show the movie industry can make significant contributions to the economy. The movie sector, along with other creative industries, is seen to become increasingly important to economic well-being. The prospects seem better than ever. The film market is fast growing, home producers are gaining ground, big money flows into this business, and the government promises support. The essential question then is how to change this size and quantity into quality. Xie Le, CNC World, Hengdian, China. This is CNC World, a new perspective.